As Admiral Zakuza formally handed over the reins of power to Ruta, the seasoned military leader retreated to a strategic role within the military hierarchy. Ruta, now the newly appointed admiral, assumed the role of the head of the guerrillist army. The transition marked a significant shift in leadership, and Kodo, who once aspired to this position, found himself on a different path. Filled with a sense of melancholy, Kodo departed from the military's forefront. However, destiny had a different plan for him. Three days after Ruta's enthronement, a letter from the War Administration Board arrived at Kodo's doorstep. The letter, penned with admiration, cited Kodo's outstanding achievements. It praised his academic excellence at Waraline University, his exceptional performance throughout the rigorous five-year training, and his remarkable scores in the competitions. The unexpected news reached its climax when the letter revealed that Kodo had been nominated for the esteemed position of Major General within the Ministry of National Defense. The President, recognizing Kodo's exceptional merit, approved this unprecedented and exceptional promotion. Overwhelmed with joy, Kodo couldn't contain the elation that surged through him. The recognition and elevation to the rank of Major General were not only a testament to his capabilities, but also a unique honor in guerrillist military history. This unexpected twist of fate propelled Kodo into a new chapter of his life, one where his skills and leadership would play a crucial role in shaping the future of guerrilla society. Kodo sat in his modest study, the letter from the War Administration Board clutched tightly in his hand. His mind raced with a whirlwind of emotions, disbelief, gratitude, and a profound sense of responsibility. The weight of the nomination settled upon his shoulders like a heavy mantle, filling him with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. For years, Kodo had dedicated himself to the pursuit of excellence, striving to excel in every challenge that came his way. From his days as a diligent student at Waraline University to the grueling training sessions at the potential Admiralty Committee, he had poured his heart and soul into honing his skills and mastering the art of warfare. And now, all his efforts had culminated in this moment, a chance to serve his country at one of the highest levels of military command. The magnitude of the opportunity was not lost on Kodo, nor was the immense responsibility that came with it. With trembling hands, he carefully unfolded the letter, reading and rereading the words inscribed upon the page. Each sentence filled him with a renewed sense of purpose, a conviction that he was destined for greatness. And yet, amidst the jubilation, a nagging doubt lingered in the back of his mind. Was he truly worthy of such honor and acclaim? Did he possess the wisdom and fortitude necessary to lead his fellow soldiers into battle, to make the tough decisions that would shape the course of guerrillist history? These questions gnawed at Kodo's conscience, threatening to undermine his newfound confidence. But as he sat in the quiet solitude of his study, Kodo resolved to embrace the challenge that lay before him. He may not have sought this path, but now that it had been laid before him, he would walk it with courage and conviction. Rising from his chair, Kodo strode purposefully across the room, his mind already racing with plans and strategies for the future. The road ahead would be fraught with obstacles and uncertainties, but Kodo was ready to face whatever trials awaited him. As news of Kodo's promotion spread throughout guerrilla society, the response was one of unanimous acclaim. From the bustling streets of the city, to the remote villages nestled in the heart of the jungle, whispers of admiration echoed far and wide. In the corridors of power, members of the military elite hailed Kodo's ascent to the rank of Major General as a stroke of genius. His stellar performance in the competitions had not gone unnoticed, and many saw him as a rising star within the Ministry of National Defense. For Dorika, the news came as both a source of pride and concern. She had stood by Kodo's side through every trial and tribulation, witnessing firsthand the sacrifices he had made in pursuit of his dreams. And now, as he embarked on this new chapter of his life, she vowed to support him with unwavering devotion. But amidst the celebrations, a shadow of doubt lingered in Dorika's mind. She knew the dangers that lay ahead, the perilous nature of the path Kodo had chosen to walk, as Major General, he would be thrust into the heart of guerrillas politics, 
forced to navigate a treacherous landscape fraught with intrigue and deception. Yet Dorika had faith in Kodo's strength and resilience. She believed in his ability to rise to the occasion, to overcome whatever challenges stood in his way. And as she gazed into his eyes, she knew that their love would serve as an anchor, a guiding light in the darkest of times. Together, they would weather the storms that lay ahead, standing shoulder to shoulder against whatever trials fate had in store. For Dorika, there was no greater honor than to walk by Kodo's side, to share in his triumphs and tribulations as they forged a future filled with hope and possibility. Meanwhile, in the hallowed halls of the Ministry of National Defense, preparations were already underway for Kodo's official induction ceremony. The air buzzed with anticipation as dignitaries and military officials from across guerrilla society gathered to witness this historic occasion. As Kodo arrived at the ministry, he was greeted with a resounding chorus of applause, a testament to the respect and admiration he had earned among his peers. Dressed in full military regalia, he cut a striking figure as he made his way to the stage, his chest swelling with pride. Standing before the assembled crowd, Kodo felt a surge of emotion wash over him. This was a moment he had dreamed of since childhood, a chance to serve his country with honor and distinction. And as he took the oath of office, pledging his allegiance to guerrillist society, he knew that he was ready to shoulder the responsibilities that came with his new rank. The ceremony proceeded with all the pomp and circumstance befitting the occasion, culminating in a stirring speech from Kodo himself. He spoke of duty and honor, of sacrifice and courage, his words resonating with the audience gathered before him. But amidst the fanfare and celebration, Kodo's thoughts kept returning to the challenges that lay ahead. As Major General, he would be tasked with leading guerrillists finest soldiers into battle, navigating the complexities of military strategy and diplomacy. Yet, despite the weight of responsibility that rested upon his shoulders, Kodo was undaunted. He had faced adversity before and emerged victorious, and he was confident that he would do so again. With Dorika by his side and the support of his comrades in arms, he knew that there was no obstacle he could not overcome. As the ceremony drew to a close, Kodo looked out at the sea of faces before him, his heart filled with determination and resolve. The road ahead would be long and fraught with peril, but he was ready to face whatever challenges awaited him, secure in the knowledge that he was serving a cause greater than himself.